This video is sponsored by Microsoft. Okay, so let's get into some text sizing shortcuts. You can spend a lot of time manually clicking the toolbar and adjusting the text size. I mean, click, 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 click. Okay, I don't know, maybe I want that smaller. Click, 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 you know, <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> You know, who has time for that? <laughs> so you could use a shortcut instead. And so on the Mac, that is command shift, comma, and period. And on the PC, it's control shift, comma, and period. I actually find this easier to remember by referring to it as command or control shift plus the less than or greater than symbol because these symbols to me say, you know, bigger or smaller. And it's easier to remember because I think of greater or less than like the greedy duck symbols. <laughs> now, if we add option to that combination on the Mac and all on the PC, what it does is it lets you resize the text in larger increments. So that takes five seconds max, I bet, and it's going to save you minutes. And it's going to keep you from having to click the mouse and go up to the toolbar and back and forth, back and forth. Let's get into some letting shortcuts. You can go the long route, the toolbar. You know, click, click, click. Or you can use a shortcut. And on the Mac, that is option up and down arrow. And on Windows, it's alt up and down arrow. And you don't have to select the entire paragraph. You can just put your cursor anywhere in the paragraph and it will affect the whole paragraph as long as you have that preference set for letting applying to entire paragraphs. And if we add command on the Mac and control on the PC to the mix, then we can adjust the letting in larger increments. And the increment by which it increases or decreases can be set in your preferences under units and increments. So as you can see, right after I changed that, it immediately goes by that new number, making the smaller and larger increments that much bigger. Now let's get into some tracking shortcuts. Tracking is the space within and between words, and it's often confused with kerning, which is the spacing between letters. We can select several words or lines of text and we can, you know, go up to the toolbar and do this manually, which, you know, takes a lot of time. You know, go up to the menu and select one. And if that's not enough, then go to the next increment. Let's just clear that. Or we can just use option and left or right arrow on the Mac on Windows, that would be Alt and the left or right arrow. So much faster. Now the increments that it goes by are found in your preferences under units and increments, so you can change them. I personally like to keep these in smaller numbers because I don't like to usually track more than like negative 15. Now, if you add in command on the Mac and control on the PC, it will do this in larger increments. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.